this is the tread itself, 11 inches. And I've got, um, these are linked to, let's see, what's this one? Um, these are linked. Let's see how they're driven. It's been a while since I've had a look at this. So I've got my bottom elevation and my top elevation in feet. I've got um, number of treads and then I've got number of risers based on number of treads. Uh, so it's number of tread plus one. Uh, elevation difference is just the top minus the bottom times 12. So I convert it over to inches from feet. Um, and then uh, let's see, a single rise distance is measured by taking the elevation difference in inches and then dividing by number of risers. And then the tread run total is number of treads times, um, I've got it as 11 here. Why would that be? Let's see. Ninety-nine. Sorry, guys. I'm just. Ha it's been a while since I've looked at this. Oh, so the issue there is um, what I should have done is number of risers plus one or yeah plus one times number of or no eleven is the tread depth. Number of treads is 10. So 10 times 11 is 99. That's how I got it. So the tread depth is 11 inches. I probably should have set tread depth as a, um, as a global variable too. And then beam height um, is, I really should tie that. This is where Excel would come in better because really beam height should be tied to, um, I could probably tie it to the structural member uh, dimension and so I'd have to go into my structural members and see what dimension that is see if it's consistent which I believe it probably is and since SolidWorks now is using configurations you know you're using one sketch in your weldments and then there's configurations of that sketch you could certainly um, name the uh, dimension and in this case I could link that to beam height so Again, this was quite a ways back, um, and it was before configurable uh, weldments. So that's how that's all tied together. Um, so, whoops, I didn't mean to go that far. So we'll roll this back. And so, like I said, this is the control sketch. And I've got a number of planes in here that may not be necessary. Um, top, of la top of upper landing. And then I've got cutting plane for upper landing. And what that does, it's a quarter inch down. It trims off the um, steel channel so that I can put a cap on it. Um, may have been unnecessary. I don't know. So first structural member goes in. And that's based on, um, that's based on this line. What is that based on? have a look and the reason this is slow is I'm running it inside of a virtual machine <clears throat> I actually have 64 gigs of RAM, but I, I uh, run my I run SolidWorks inside a virtual machine, so I can use different years without when you know I can be compatible for different customers. Uh, oh, we we'll use the bottom of the sketch, so we'll cancel out of that. So what I used is um, the control sketch. I used this bottom line here. And then um, there's just different cutting planes I add 